Okay, so after putting the password in, you come up to this screen here. Now, um, it's pretty simple. It says that um, this here is to enable the comment love functions. So yes, I want to do that. This one here is to enable the Twitter link and we'll scroll down and this one here is for the keyword name functions so that will be the same as the keyword love and um, oh this one here is for the gasp which is the anti-spam bot um, thing so we want them all and I'm just going to press save settings even though they're all on yes anyway that's fine and um, then I'm going to take you through to um, alter all the settings. So what we're going to do is we've got these here. We've got the comment love link in the sidebar. We've got the main settings which we're on here and we've got these four sections here where we have to set what we want. So what I'm going to do is go to the first one which is the comment love. Okay. Now by the way, you can go and delete the other plugins that you used to have once you've got all this set up. So it's not very hard to set up either. All we have to do is read what's there. So where do you want to show the comment love? So I've got on both pages and posts. Okay, so we're going on both. Um, we've got on by default and on for admin so we want both of those as well down here you can choose your own um, uh, what do you call it badge um, I'm happy with that one so we're going to just go on you can also use the text here by the way which is pretty handy because I like that because it looks like a link okay and the other thing is that when you become a member you've got an affiliate um, URL to put in here so you will be taken to the members area to download the plugin in the first place and you'll see that you will have well there's mine there so I'll just put it in so that's good um, scroll down and there's all these um, settings to do here um, these are messages that can be displayed scroll down now all you have to do is um, if you want something just tick uh, tick the box here now this one here is show registration message now this you need this when you're going to say to the people you have to register if you want to see 10 um, enabled posts um, I'm not going to do that so I'm going to leave it now these, I'm just going to quickly go through and show you what settings I used here because this is um, the part where you entice people to um, do things to, in order to get the 10 posts to show which people want. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to press enable do follow and that enables the do follow for everyone's comment love link. Okay. This one here I'm going to leave because I'm not going to give everyone 10 posts. Okay, down further I'm not going to make them register. Okay, um, so I'm going to leave that. Um, you can put the number of approved comments to get a do follow and I'm going to put that to 5. Okay. So there's a few ways that they can get the 10 posts showing. So one of them for me will be if they've got a five comments approved, right? Um, I'm going to untick this one here for Google Plus. But another one for me is going to be if they retweet, okay? I'm going to give them a follow link and let them choose from their 10 posts. Also, I'm going to fill in my... Um, username for Twitter here so they can um, retweet me or join or something like that you know they can follow me on Twitter um, also recommend comment love in the Twitter thing um, you can untick that if you like or you can leave it ticked it's up to you 
So you can leave it ticked because Andy's a good guy. All right, so keep going. The other thing is the Facebook. Um, you can put that down there and say, if you like my post, you can press on the like button and you'll be able to get the 10 posts shown to you. All right, so we're going to press on this one because I like to give everyone a do follow link. All right, so keep going down. Um, there's a few more things here. I'm just going to skip this one because um, the comment love style sheet fits in nicely with my blog. If it doesn't, you can use your own um, CSS in here. Okay, so down here, I like this one as well. Now, um, I'm going to press on show a random mix. Now, this is, I'll have to show you on another blog, just so I go into a post. This is the display box that comes up when you hover over someone's little comment love um, icon. So in the comment section, if you go down below, okay, so see this one here, they've got a comment love link and see if you hover over their little heart, you get the details of their stuff here. Now, as you can see, it's got posts that they've commented on okay now I'll go down and I'll show you another one so just so I go to this person now this person's only commented on this post on this website let's have a look at this one okay this one's commented on two now um, they're showing some of his posts down there as well okay so that's good um, let's have a look at this one there we go. Now Anne has commented on all these pages um, and you can also tell who is um, a good commenter on your website as well. This is great. So um, I'm not sure why this one's coming up but anyway um, that's meant to be a picture of Eileen but obviously the author's picture comes up here I can see that see Garen Arnold is a guest post on Eileen's blog so that's pretty interesting that it shows the guest post okay anyway so you get the picture alright so what I want to do is when someone hovers over mine okay they get to see my favorite posts on my blog. See, I picked these ones, okay? Um, so what I'm gonna do is set that up now. I'll just go back to comment love and we'll set it up. So what I'm gonna do is uh, choose show a random mix and then down here, I'm gonna go through and choose my most, the best favorite, um, my besties, okay? So we'll go, we'll see what happens. Um, basically, I'm just going to pick a few for now and see what happens. So we can pick pages as well. So let's go to the video page if I can. Let's see, is that a page or a post? I'm not really sure. We can go to the computer terms page, that's pretty popular. Um, what else have we got there? So basically this is how you pick your favourite um, posts. Okay, let's go to this one. Let's add and we'll go in here. Just type in computer to see what comes up. And we're just going to pick a few. Okay, so it says you can pick five. So we'll do that. Okay, so that'll do. So I've picked five there, that's great. So what th is going to happen is that they're going to show up in my little box that I showed you. Alright, so let's keep going down here. Now, um, I, I do have a caching, a caching plugin installed, so I'm going to tick this box here. 
okay um, the other ones I just left blank for now um, let's if I go down further down here this is another section that I checked now I disabled these scripts from loading because I have got other plugins that actually load them already okay so just say you've got a social plugin like the um, the sidebar the share bar or socialize or something like that well they already have the Twitter scripts and Facebook scripts installed and you do not want to double up on it okay so I tick that that's a really great feature um, I really love that feature I think it's absolutely fantastic because um, a lot of the other plugins the they don't even think about that alright so now I'm just gonna press save settings okay now just remember we've got to go to all the other tabs as well and um, you can write little messages in and personalize the whole um, experience right so I'm gonna just skip that Twitter link one I just want to go to the gasp and also the keyword name one it's just that I want to make sure it's set up right now because the longer I take the more spam comments are coming in the door right now okay so this is the text that people are going to see and they're going to see that little box that they have to tick now here is um, the maximum number of URLs in the comment text well I don't really like any but I'm going to put one okay um, minimum number of words allowed in the name field now I like this um, in the name field you need one or we'll go we don't minimum oh maximum sorry maximum okay so let's say three because someone might have a really long name you never know um, where to send suspicious comments we want them to go to the spam folder um, allow trackbacks dis disable self pings which is good now these are all little things that um, you could possibly get rid of a few plugins just because of these kind of little settings here so we're gonna stop the blog from pinging itself um, now this here I get a lot of spam from Squidoo not from them personally but from people making Squidoo lenses so I'm gonna put that word in there okay if the trackbacks coming from there then I want it to be put in the spam folder because um, I, I partic I just want to give people um, links to their blogs and stuff like that uh, yeah but th this is going a bit overboard they um, they are spamming me so I have to put that there I'm sorry um, hopefully that's how you spell it <laughs> can't remember okay um, it says a couple of other settings here about the trackbacks so you can check that out and read it because otherwise this video is going to be way too long um, okay so the suspicious trackbacks get moderated or spammed or whatever so let's save the settings now as you can see this is full on okay um, this is well worth it I mean it's going to protect your website and control the whole commenting system okay the next part is keyword name okay right so I am going to allow it which sets it in motion now here is a message here that um, you are going to give your commenters now this is good because they need to know how to comment um, I'm gonna just leave it the way it is it's fine now here it says the minimum amount of keywords allowed so we're gonna put three because sometimes you just can't fit it into two um, I mean your name or whatever and this one's for the keywords after the at sign okay you know how you put that at sign put name 
your name and then at and then your keyword. So anyway, there's so many things here as usual. Um, now here it says you can change the never follow, always, let's put always do follow um, or use the comment love rules for do follow. So that would mean that um, if you had five comments or more you would be do follow and stuff like that. But I'm going to put always do follow on for that. Um, and here it this what this is going to do if you say yes please clean the comment author names that used keyword love. So it's either, if someone's got like four keywords after the name they're going to remove it. Not the comment but the actual words um, after the at sign. So what they're going to do is just make all the previous comments apply to the rules now. Alright, so let's do it. So we save the settings. Okay, so remember when I said that Comment Love Premium plugin replaces like eight plugins? Well, I'm going to show you what else you get with it. So what you're going to do is go to Appearance and then Widgets. So this is only going to be here if you have um, already bought this plugin. Alright, so what it is, is it's got a top comment lovers widget and it also, let me find the other one, um, the top commenters widget as well. So what I'm going to do is quickly go over to my other blog because I already have them enabled here. So here's one that came with it, top commenters, and I have um, put them for this week. So you can change it over every month or whatever. And you get to choose the size of the avatar and what avatar goes there. And there's the people there. So here's the other one up the top here. So if I scroll up, well this is a long one. Okay, here's the other one that I really like too. Now this one's going to be set at a monthly rate, so I have um, put those settings in myself. But the thing about this one is that it shows the person's latest post, okay, underneath. And um, now I only just set this on now, so we need to get a few people commenting um, to get the list happening here but um, people have got the chance to have a link on my um, website on the sidebar so which is really cool and it looks pretty great I reckon it looks really good um, anyway so these are all the things that are included with the comment love um, premium uh, plugin so if you haven't got it um, go and get it because you can disable um, eight or more plugins. I also forgot to mention that you could probably disable the no follow plugin as well because Comment Love actually lets you choose which um, part you want to do follow or no follow and stuff like that. Alright, thanks for watching.